So this just shows a kind of the position of a normal uncomplicated birth as it says here. Um, so starting at position A, the baby's position as the birth process begins. So head down. Um, at B, we're going to hit the first stage of labor. So the cervix dilates to allow passage of the baby's head. Um, C is the transition, so the baby's head moves into the birth canal or the vagina. Um, in image D, you've got the second stage of labor. The baby's head moves through the opening of the vagina, so it crowns. Um, and then E, the, the head emerges completely, followed by the rest of the body about a minute later. And then the last image, F here, the third stage of labor is the expulsion of the placenta. This usually occurs naturally, um, but it is crucial that the whole placenta be expelled. So birth attendants, um, whether that's the doctor or a nurse or um, a, a doula, whomever you um, is, is helping you with the process, they tend to check very carefully to make sure the whole placenta in, is removed. Um, in some cultures, the placenta is ceremonially buried to commemorate the life-giving role it plays. Um, in other um, countries I've heard, we, we've even started here in the U.S. Um, preserving parts of the placenta. It's supposed to kind of help combat, I think, postpartum um, or some other things um, to help the baby and help the mom. So a lot of really interesting stuff about that, but otherwise it's just um, probably discarded and and thrown away. The reasons uh, that people get C-sections do vary greatly. Um, we have lower rates of C-sections in poorer countries. They're typically just reserved for emergencies, um, and then in in richer countries. Um, Gosh, particularly in the U.S., we have so many here in the U.S. Um, C-sections are often scheduled um, for the convenience of the mom, convenience of the doctor. Um, I've heard of many, many moms who, you know, schedule their C-section for 1.30 on Thursday so they can take a call at noon and, and then they, you know, are working right up until the minute of. So... Um, it's certainly an option. Um, it's not necessarily um, the safest option uh, unless the, um, you know, unless um, it's, it's necessary. Um, however, certainly a convenient option for a lot of people. Um, but it is a major surgery. So certainly um, you have to consider the pros and cons when you're looking into that. A couple of interesting facts. Um, Latin America has the highest rates of C-section in the world. Um, about 50% of all births in Chile are by C-section. Um, Sub-Saharan Africa tends to have the lowest rates of C-section. Um, in Chad specifically, um, only 2% of mothers have C-sections. There are a lot of options um, for delivering baby. Um, home births are um, obviously used to be really almost your only option. Um, however, um, more and more people are going to home births kind of now. Um, hospital births are still certainly a popular option. Um, and, or you can have a doula. So you can, a doula can deliver the baby almost anywhere. I think they do sometimes have privileges at hospitals. Um, they will help you give birth at home. They have um, doula birthing centers. There's really a lot of options um, to, to have people help deliver babies. So whatever, you know, there's a lot of options to look into um, if you are looking to have a baby. Postpartum depression is a very real um, situation. It's been around forever. I would say only in the past maybe 10 or 20 years that women have felt um, comfortable starting to talk about it and and let other women know um, you're not the only one kind of in this situation. Um, about 8 to 15% of new mothers, um, they think, are feeling kind of this sadness or inadequacy 
Um, paternal involvement can certainly have a beneficial effect on this. Um, and the causes for postpartum depression vary. Um, some people report um, that they didn't feel connected with their child. They don't feel, um, which is makes sense. Um, you know, you look at a child, you feel all this love for it. And in the first few weeks and months, they don't really respond to you. They're, they're only interested in eating and sleeping, kind of having their very basic needs met. So that can really be um, a struggle for new moms. You can certainly have um, these physical problems that are mentioned. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of things that are really going on. Your hormones are kind of uh, shifting and kind of going out of whack again. There's just, a, there's a really lot of things happening at this time. So um, and, and the causes may be different for each person who's experiencing the postpartum depression.